thanks for tuning in today. We're going to be doing some Valentine's Day high-end projects. And these are going to be things that I'm going to display in my home from now till uh, end of um, Valentine's Day. Anyhow, so our first one here, we're going to make a pillow. Now, I am only going to do a half of a heart. You have to let me know in the end if you think that it looks like a... a uh, ham hock or something. Other. I, I don't know. I liked it because I think it's cute, but it's only half of a heart. Just keep that in mind. You can use two of these cloths to make a full heart, but I just chose to do the one. So you're going to turn your, uh, this is an automotive cloth out of the Dollar Tree, and you're going to turn your right sides together on the inside, and then take a marker or a pen and draw a half of a heart. Then just take your scissors and cut along that line. Just make sure to cut everything out. And I am just using regular Gorilla Glue to um, glue the sides together. And make sure you're doing everything with your right sides in. And then leave an opening. Of course, we got to stuff it. So just use your hot glue to glue that down. And then when I turned it right side out, no, before I turned it right side out, I was looking at it and thought it needed something on it. So I had some little thin ribbon on hand. You see it here. That's very neutral in color. You can use whatever you have. And then I'm going to just put some hot glue on each end. I did two strands along the side of each other. And then once you glue it all together, your pillow together, then it's going to stay in place. So just continue gluing, leave it in, then turn it right sides out. I did some batting that I had on hand to stuff it with. Um, if I have old pillows and I get rid of them, I always keep my batting. Uh, but anyhow, just stuff it in there. Um, I had just a, a stick um a craft stick or something other that i had that i just used to make sure to get all that bad and all the way to the end um use your fingers and all you can see me here i'm just kind of working it to make sure that all my corners are raised out once you turn it to this point i could tell that i had a couple of holes so that i did go back and run some more hot glue around the edges of it and then i thought it was still missing something other so i had a little uh wooden heart that I think they say it's a color your own ornament or something other. It says on the little title there for those. And I used some gel stain to stain it to kind of match that ribbon that I had. And then I just tied a simple little um, knot through both of those. You'll see me here doing that. And then this project's finished. And I think it's adorable, especially stage. But you guys let me know if you would have done the whole heart, if you like the half. Uh, but I thought it was very cute. <laughs> Okay, for project number two, I'm going to be using this little uh, wood round, and I love using these. These I found didn't have any holes in them. Sometimes they do, but I'm going to paint it with both sides with my uh, white chalk paint, and then I'm going to use these stencils that I'm showing. Y'all let me know, is that zebra stripes? I'm guessing that's zebra stripes. Maybe that's Bengal tiger stripes. I don't know, but I thought it was adorable. So I'm going to lay that down 
and it fit a little bit larger wood round but I made it work I just lined up the bottom then I'm going to use my painters tape to go all the way across the top to make sure that my pink does not transfer to the top and then I'm going to stencil that on so uh, when you're using your um, paint for your stencil you just kind of want to rub it in and rub the majority of it off you don't want to uh, like globs of it and I am using a combination of a stipple and a circular motion uh, just make sure that you just don't get that paint where it's running up underneath your stencil and I did have to go back and do a little bit of touch-ups then when I pulled that off and that dried then I'm gonna lay down my second stencil on top so see you can mix and match your stencils and this says you're my sunshine so of course it had to be yellow um, and I used two colors of yellow that I had in some um, just acrylic paint is all I'm using here and I mix those two together and this kind of reminds me of like a pink lemonade <laughs> it's giving me some definitely some kind of spring into summer vibes let me know what you guys think but I think it's adorable and it's doable for your um, Valentine's Day um, my husband is my sunshine my dogs are my sunshine too so anyhow um, then I'm gonna use some um, twine and it's more of a natural twine because the edges it just sticks out everywhere but I like the look of that um, I'm gonna use that around the edge so I did a thin bead of hot glue probably about every inch inch and a half to glue it down then once I got around back to the uh, beginning point there I decided I wanted to run a second edge of it so I just ran that as close as I could around that first line and then I'm just going to use this same twine to make me a hanger for the back now you can certainly cut your holes in this if you wanted to and run your twine through the holes but I just hot glued it to the back and then I took some little raffia raffia makes a mess doesn't it you guys it's so cute but I get it I had it all over my floor so I took a little bit of raffia and took some simple um, ribbon that I had on hand and tied a little knot around it hold it tight and then hot glued it to the top and this project is finished and I just think it is adorable and really this one could go right through spring you wouldn't even have to take it up for Valentine's you could run it right through your springtime and probably even summertime you put it on your door for your strawberry lemonade you guys let me know what you think of this one okay fine i'm gonna end it tonight something toxic holding on to me for dear life a terrible terrible high needing use an irresistible light you said you and the air is all that i need and not to die a terrible terrible high Okay, on to project number three. This is my first time using some molds on project. And I'm experimenting here, but I really love the way it turned out. I'll be using it more often. So I've got this little crate and I've got some air dry clay left over. This is probably where I did my dog prints for my Christmas tree. Um, just keep them sealed. That keeps it moist. And I think I'm even gonna put a wet little paper towel or something other in there. So I've got these little wooden hearts that I'm using and, and then also I picked up this mold. It was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. You might can find some at your Dollar Tree locally, uh, but this is a mold from icing, from fondant for cake decorating. So um, I, I want to experiment before I spend the money for an IOD molds. They're really beautiful, but I just want to make sure I use them correctly and I really like the look and y'all after using this I'm going to be buying some more baking molds because that's a lot cheaper way to go and then I'll splurge on one or two of the IOD molds um, 
I just took this air dry clay. You can use resin as well. It called for cornstarch. I did not have any on hand. I'm not sure why because I always have that. But I just put some baking soda in there and it worked as well too. So just dust that in whichever one you're going to use. I'm going to use a rosette and two of the leaves. And I'm using my craft knife to just kind of push it in there and then just push off any excess. On the back, I'm going to use my quick and thick, and I just took my finger to spread it all out. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of hot glue just for that instant hold. I wasn't, really wasn't sure about putting it on this wood crate. It worked perfect. So I put my design on there. I let mine dry overnight. It may not take that long. If you have good clay or if you're using resin, it won't take that long. But I just let mine um, dry overnight. And then I came in and painted it with a, a pale pink paint. And I did do the inside of the crate as well, just in case you could see it, because it does have the little holes in the handle. So I used um, that paint and painted the inside and the out. And I just used a... Um, Oh gosh, I'm trying to think of what kind of brush it is. Anyhow, just make sure whatever brush you use that you are pushing that paint into all of that design. Just working it around. That, um, that clay did eat up the paint a little bit. So I did, have, I did find myself touching up a little a uh, few places on that but I really love this and then when everything was done there I took some floral foam and I'm just going to hot glue that into the bottom and y'all here's your tip for the day um, I love to use my art knives to cut this I find this the easiest cleanest way to cut this floral foam so there's your tip and it doesn't damage your knife at all so I'm hot glue that into the bottom make sure you work fast because that floral foam will suck up your hot glue and then you'll find that it's already dried it then I'm going to use some um, florals that I had on hand and it happened to be some pink roses and then those little wooden hearts I'm going to use my miter shears and cut those down at varying lengths and then stuff those inside and this project was done and that's pretty easy y'all Go try, go find you some baking molds, those little um, fondant molds. Try that first, I would suggest. See how you like it. Like I said, I'm definitely going to be buying some uh, IOD, but um, I'm going to splurge on some of these as well because it's a lot cheaper. I think I paid $2 and something for that mold. I guess it was just going out of stock. Uh, different ones come in, so... Um, I'm going to be using it over and over because it had some beautiful designs in it. Uh, comment below. Let me know how you like this. Let me know if you're going to try using molds if you've not already tried it. Last project, and you guys, I'm not sure how I did not film the first part. I went back and back on my camera and couldn't find it. Anyhow, it's one of those little houses, and I had some cloth that I thought was Valentine's Day appropriate. So, um, I just laid that down with liquid patina. You can use Mod Podge. You could use school glue, the Elmer's um, stick glue to put it down, but I just cut out my little um template lay that down on my house um it, it's hard to fit exactly in the edges so i'm going to come back with some um some ribbon and clean up those edges a little bit so i've got a little love sign and that is some of those little laser cut craft words that they have dollar tree um i did do some gel stain on that and around the house um i just wasn't liking that white I, I wanted more of a stained look so here after my um 
everything's dried real well I use my scissors to clean up my fabric you see that cute little ribbon I'm going to use that around the edge so I'm just going to hot glue that around the edge and then I'm going to hot glue my love sign down and then trim up that ribbon from the edges and you guys this one is done see these projects were simple crafting does not have to be hard nor does it have to be super expensive because there are options out there most of these items were found at the dollar tree and what i didn't find you could probably find some stuff in your local dollar tree um, they just don't tend to keep some of mine around here um, stocked all that well so I, I see a lot of people on youtube posting stuff from dollar tree and i never find what they find but anyhow you guys i hope you like these these are the last of my valentine's um things that i'm going to be showing you this year so let me know what you think i appreciate it thumbs up comments are always great till next time you guys have a great week